Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you 16 April here. It's a Thursday. Let's go over some um, Italian swear words. Cazzo, vaffangulo, minchia. Minchia is my favorite Italian swear. It translates literally into pussy. Um, but a woman would often say it if she said, if she may have like dropped a glass in the kitchen and it smashes. She goes, oh, minchia. So it doesn't really translate literally, but it's one of the funner Italian swears uh, and less used and less known um, by any of uh, the swear professionals out there. We bring up uh, Italian swear words today because this is one of the themes going on right now in the marketplace. This um, selling of BTPs, questioning of European unity, lack of togetherness, uh, and this is causing sell-off in Euro. So this works against our central theory, our central theme, which is the US dollar is going to get trashed. We still think that central theme is in play. But as always in FX, there's always a bunch of mini themes and new themes that you have to keep in mind. Yesterday we were totally blindsided by this uh, this European conflict. We knew it was around. We've, we've seen the, the ideas bubbling around. Um, but for some reason, we were just too focused on uh, on our central thesis to uh, to be awake awakened to a new a new idea in the market or a market that was actually being tra uh, an idea that's actually being traded. Anyway, let's look at this euro here. Uh, we went down to 55 yesterday, 64 today. If you draw if you draw this trend line here, you can see this is somewhat interesting. Um, are we going to make another new low today? Certainly looks like it. So, um, looks like core short Euro, core short Aussie uh, is going to pay today. So, tactically, we want to try and look at core short Euro. This low here at 64 is important to us now because it's a trend line. Touched four times, so it gives us some metrics to trade around this. Um, so this is somewhat interesting, although fairly awkward, right, uh, against our central theory. But that's okay. This will give us uh, probably a better opportunity to um, to sell dollar Swiss at a higher rate for the longer term book. Here's our dollar Swiss. You can see dollar Swiss didn't go up as high. Why is that? Because people are pounding Euro Swiss. And this is the obvious, um, I think Europe is going to break apart trade. We saw big names with high amounts of volume smashing this at 30. Obviously our friends uh, at the SNB are around smoothing this. Uh, I worry for them just because they have such a huge position. And... It's just quite awkward, right? You know, you have this one player in the market with a huge position. Talk about the Hunt brothers and Silver back in the day. Talk about, I won't go into names, other situations. The guy with the big position usually gets attacked by the entire market and gets fucked, up, fucked over. This is historically what always happens in the market. Um, will it happen this time in Euro Swiss? I hope not. Um, for their sake, and frankly for my sake, I live in Switzerland, but uh, we'll see. We shall see, but they are attacking the Euro. Um, someone with some pretty big balls is just unloading Euro-Swiss right into the lap of the SNB. Cable is just being kind of wild, right? It's just kind of hectic yesterday. Dropped 200 points from the highs. Then we rallied 100 points, 130 points. Now we're back down towards the lows. Don't really understand what's going on in cable. 
cost me a fair bit of money yesterday. I overtraded it. I was stubborn. I was unprofessional. All those beautiful adjectives. Uh, I was a douchebag. Uh, whatever, whatever adjectives you want to use. Uh, that was me yesterday in cable. The low uh, 37. You could probably argue there are many other people who did the same thing in cable as I did, and probably still quite a few of them who just left their stops now below 36, who bought down through sort of that capitulation push through 50. Uh, JP Morgan massacred it from 55 down to 39, pushing a bunch of stops. You looked safe there for a while, and then, I don't know. So, I mean, there will be stops, I imagine, uh, below 37 today in cable. We're staying away from cable. Dollar Swiss traded up to the figure, back down to 22. Um, somehow, we didn't we didn't lose any money in, in selling Dollar Swiss. Uh, and we started selling at 29 uh, yesterday. But why did that happen? Because Euro Swiss collapsed, so it was just so much easier to manage uh, than, say, a cable long or a Euro dollar long. Anyway, uh, we will uh, reload this. Uh, considering what's going on in Euro, we'll be patient. Uh, we'll try and sell this maybe between 97 and 97.20 on the tactical book. Uh, the long-term book is short. Uh, from the high 97.80, so that just sits. Uh, but tactically today, we will sell high ones um, in dollar Swiss. BOC yesterday said they're going to do a little bit of QE. It was pathetic, right? It was like 50 billion, but it was enough to kind of jig the market around. Uh, it's more the case that stocks are lower and and crude is on it on its knees. Where's crude today? That dollar that dollar CAD is higher. It's not the QE. Uh, crude's at twenty bucks, so it hasn't really hasn't really changed too much. Don't really know what to do with uh, dollar CAD, so we're just gonna we're just gonna leave it alone. Gold. Uh, the futures traded down to seventeen thirty. Uh, the lonely bids at seventeen ten are still lonely. Um, being patient with crude. If we see more of this sort of dollar buying against Euro, there might be a move down in gold. You could also draw this line here. There'll probably be a few intraday guys who draw this now as kind of a head and shoulders. 37 is a neckline there. Crude bouncing along at the lows. No dog in this fight. Oddly, I'd like to be long, if anything, even though it looks like absolute shit. Um, Minkia. Look at that. Minkia. One, two, three, four. Four red days. We'll see. Isn't Minkia fun to say? It's a fun swear. Um, crude looks offered, but we're not we're not playing there. Boons. Um, Yield went lower today. Yield went lower yesterday because of this BTP Boons trade. This is a classic favorite of guys like Bluecrest and the big hedge funds. Um, Brevin Howard also likes to put this trade on. Um, what you're doing is you're, you're, you're buying Boons, you're selling BTPs, and you're basically just trading the spread between German and Italian uh, fixed income. So we're still we're still sellers of boons, uh, but you have to be careful in these in during these periods because these flows are huge oftentimes. So you saw a big day from 171.40 to 172.70. We know we have to give room for this, so do not add to your boon shorts. You know till 174 now so if you sold like we did yesterday 172 50 just trade around it you know tactical shorts goes along with your core shorts just trying to collect some sort of money almost collect premium um, but be careful right 
There's uh, Sasquatches in the woods buying boons and selling BTPs. You can see the BTP side of this trade. A little bit of a bounce at the end of the day yesterday, but all likelihood this these guys will be back in today and you can watch BTPs through 135.80. Um, this will probably give you a little bit of directional clue on euro dollar as well. So you should watch BTPs today. 135.80 is yesterday's low. Okay, I'm babbling a little bit now. Let's um let's quickly talk about stocks. We, we did ping through 50, but we're holding here. I have no idea why we're not lower. Uh, we should be lower, but it does look like it's turned now. New daily low. It's a pretty big bar yesterday. We didn't quite bearish engulf. Um, but core short, tactically short equities is the way. Listen, I've said enough. We're going to watch this trend line in Euro today. Um, we're going to watch these BTPs today. We'll be selling uh, very high ones in dollar Swiss and watching stocks tactically short. Good luck out there, people. Ciao.